Cupertino, the Chamber of Commerce invites the entire community to join in the festivities of Diwali. Day-long cultural performances, trade, food booths, and a bevy of local leaders make this an ideal outing for any family. This year marked the 10th annual celebration of the Festival of Lights, Cupertino Diwali Mela. None of which would have been possible without some motivated volunteers under the guidance of Mahesh Nihalani. 2003, uh, when I was here in Cupertino, I saw a lot of festivals taking place. You know, you had the lunar lunch, lunar year, and then you had the, the uh, cherry blossom festival, the Armenian festival, the Iranian festival, but there was no Indian festival. So I approached the city and I asked, you know, they said, yeah, sure, if you can organize it, do it. So we started off at a very small scale, 250 people, two, I think, four or five booths, one food caterer, and that's about it. Uh, and two hours of cultural performance. And then now with a lot of support from the community and a lot of team effort and volunteering and all that, and support from the city, you know, it's grown to what you see today. From local businesses to the U.S. Army, the Cupertino Mela curated a diverse group of vendors. It's my first time at Cupertino Diwali Mela. Last year we came as spectators and uh, I saw what a wonderful opportunity this was. I have been doing Divine Arts for about uh, three years now. I started uh, another business with a partner of mine um, uh, called Healthy Masala. And Healthy Masala, our focus is on providing calorie counted, calorie controlled meals for people who are either looking to be, um, you know, just eat healthy or looking for a weight management kind of program. It's been great. We've been really busy over here. Um, we are the only chiropractic stand here. So we've been getting a lot of people. You walk by and it says pain management, got pain. So everybody has pain. So everybody's stopping by and asking questions and getting massages. We've had a lot of fun here. It's been very, very entertaining. It's nice. It's so beautiful. Beautiful to see all the families and the dressing and everything's beautiful. Very nice atmosphere out here. Whenever we get a chance to talk to the public is great. So we get the word out about how to save energy. They didn't know they can go online and look at their usage, which was another great thing for us to be out here. They're so interested in um, math. I mean, because they themselves were educated in a country where math was taught in such a rigorous way. They want the same thing for their kids and they don't get it here in California. So that's why they come to us and we fill up the gap. The main focus is to uh, speak with parents because, you know, in the Indian culture we understand that parents have a big part in their child's life. So once they understand what the Army is about, it'll be easier for their children to communicate with us and vice versa. Among many leaders present were Senator Joe Simidian and Leland Yee, who say festivals such as these are pivotal to bringing the diverse communities together. Well, first and foremost, I want to say Diwali Mubarak. And then I want to say it's just a wonderful way for the community to share the culture and their presence here uh, with the larger community. I, I, I started this uh, many, many years ago when I was on the Board of Supervisors. Uh, it was always an interesting event because of the large uh, Indian population in San Francisco and the Bay Area, but we didn't have this. So when I heard about it, I came down and I was part of that very, very first one. And it's just amazing. The day was complete with performances by local dance groups from Hawaiian hula to traditional Indian. That's all for this week's Thea TV Spotlight. To catch more, log on to youtube.com slash Thea TV USA. And if you have an event that needs to be covered, 
send us an email at spotlight at viatvinc.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time, right here on Via TV.